Welcome to our latest video. In this video we will touch on using the Ubuntu Classic uh, desktop environment within Ubuntu 11.10. You'll notice off the bat that with Ubuntu 11.10 the login screen has been changed. I actually like the way the login screen looks now. Uh, it's kind of spiffy looking. But that's so far about it. I'm not too impressed with Unity in this release. So this will launch a series of videos that will show us how to use other desktop environments, how to install them, uh, within Ubuntu 11.10. So let's go ahead and log in. This will take us to the default Ubuntu which features Unity. And that's full-blown Unity as well, not just Unity 2D, but that's Unity with the effects behind it. You'll notice we have our Unity panel there. If you click the top button, that will launch the dash. I'm going to go ahead and open Terminal. And we're going to install the classic GNOME panel. We will need to type a couple of commands in here, so we'll zoom in so you can get a better look at those. You can also see the callout. The first command we need to type is sudo space apt dash get space install space gnome dash panel. Hit enter, and you'll be prompted for your password. Go to enter that, hit the enter key, and it'll prompt you to make sure you do want to download those packages. We'll check yes hitting Y and hitting enter. We'll zoom out here. We'll go ahead and skip ahead once that's downloaded and installed. We need to exit the panel. So type exit, hit enter. Now we need to go ahead and click on the power down button. Click on restart to complete updates and check the restart button. Okay, now the system has been restarted. To access the GNOME panel, we click on the Options button. You notice we have two entries, one for GNOME Classic, one for GNOME Classic No Effects. They just kind of stack on top of the existing menu entries that we had already. So we can log in using the GNOME Classic. And the first thing you'll notice is that the Classic panel does not look the same. It's missing some stuff. You'll notice we have our Applications and Places menus are in the same place that they traditionally have been. You'll notice the date and time are in the center of the bar. We have our audio network icons, the user menu. If you notice, look closely, there are some things that have been compressed into this menu that aren't there if you use the standard Unity desktop. They're actually under the power down menu. We have the lock screen, the log out the shutdown options, the system settings are all under that user menu now. You'll notice the settings within Ubuntu 11.10 are a little more compressed than in previous versions. I have had some issues looking through there finding some of the settings that I needed to change. I'm going to log out and try the GNOME Classic No Effects to see if it's riddled with the same problems of things like missing spacers in the GNOME bar, and it is. If you right click on the GNOME bar you don't have an option to be able to customize that bar. There's no properties for it. Uh, so I'm not sure if this is a glitch or what's going on with it. But I know one thing, I'm not that impressed with it. We'll log back out. Looks like for the time being, uh, we are forced to use standard Ubuntu or Ubuntu 2D. It looks like going forward that they're really going to be pressing for Unity to be included with Ubuntu. So we will see how that goes. So in our next video, we will install KDE.